Thank you. Lovely to see so many people here, my interest. Now, I've been asked to talk about my path from the field show to Hamilton Hill, Western Australia. Uh, because my training has been uh, a bit different to most of the other artists in as much as I didn't go to an art school, I'd like to take it back a little bit further uh, and show how it came about. Uh, now, I've got some notes here because we're talking about 55 years ago. Um, I initially, uh, in the late 50s, I did a public service examination and uh, didn't think much of it until I was approached by the Postmaster General uh, Department and asked to go to Melbourne to train as a communications technician. I thought this was quite exciting, big city, etc. I'd seen a picture of Fern Tree Gully, and uh, <laughs> off I went. Um, now, my hobby as a boy had been uh, painting. Uh, I was an asthmatic, and I couldn't um, do much in the way of the sporting area. But uh, uh, so, finding myself in Melbourne, living in guest houses, rooms. Uh, the painting became quite a big part of my life. Um, it wasn't long before I was placed in a telephone exchange in the centre of the CBD and uh, uh, found that the, the centre of Melbourne at that time was quite different to what it is now. You didn't have um, many facilities whatsoever. The, the city emptied at six o'clock when the pubs closed. Uh, I found it a bit boring around lunch times and discovered the museum up the road, which is now the library, and uh, headed in to see uh, Farlap. Uh, Farlap was interesting, you know, it's a horse. Uh, on the way out, I came across some Rembrandts, and uh, uh, they caught my attention and held it a lot longer. Uh, I then found myself, I suppose you'd call it researching, uh, uh, I thought it was just looking at uh, uh, the painting collection in Melbourne, which is um, quite a good one. Um, uh, couldn't be matched in any other Australian gallery because of um, the time they had and the money they had to put it together. Um, this, of course, uh, for an untrained painter, was suddenly like coming across a, a dictionary of brush marks. Uh, I then found, I, I was living in a boarding house in Kew, and um, uh, I had a, a small exhibition in a uh, coffee lounge. This is the normal path of the amateur painter. Uh, and. Uh, met some of the young people around. One of them was a man called, a, a young lad younger than myself, called Mel Ramsden, who um, uh, was uh, an English migrant. He was um, uh, quite intellectually based. We did a lot of, uh, uh, there, there seemed to be quite a bit of interest in painting amongst these 16, 17 year old uh, young men. Uh, that, uh, that became a very important part of my life. Mel, Mel went back to England, did a year at Nottingham, Nottingham Art School, uh, returned with all sorts of stories about the different artists that had come in as visiting lecturers and um, their eccentric behaviour. Uh, one of the favourites was about a sculpture teacher who was late one day. Uh, they there was a grating noise outside and they saw him dragging in a, a, what had looked like a bedstead that had been run over by a truck, being dragged in from the car park and down the hallway into the, into the sculpture room. They all burst out laughing. Uh, he left without a word and was never seen again. Um, the sensitivity uh, made a big point. Um, so we all thought that was good. Uh, Mel 
on return then joined the National Gallery School uh, and uh, became very involved. Uh, I obviously met his friends there, became very close with Peter Booth, who is a very well-known painter now. Uh, all this name dropping is very important because this was actually my education. Uh, the association with these people and continual uh, debate and argument. Um, the, uh, I had, at that time, been invited to exhibit in the uh, uh, Museum of Modern Art there under John Reed. Uh, they had a Young Minds exhibition every year and uh, it was a survey of uh, what was happening in, with young painters in Melbourne. Um, we could do that here. The, uh, this obviously uh, led to lots of uh, debate between Peter, myself and Mel. Um, the next year that was the Young Generation show, uh, they changed the name because we complained about the initial name. Uh, we thought it was a bit naff. Um, the, uh, <laughs> I better check my notes again. This, uh, uh, I, I think you can see the path here that the, uh, as against a, a, a formal education, I was getting an informal education. Uh, my, my first contact with art schools was uh, to, be, to, be, to come in as a visiting lecturer, etc. Um, then we're now reaching the stage of the field show, which was brought about by uh, John Stringer and um, others at the National Gallery, NGV, actually going out and looking in studios uh, and um, seeing a lot of work that had no chance of exposure because of uh, because the commercial galleries were conservative. The commercial galleries at that stage were just uh, were still involved with um, uh, Melbourne. Uh, figurative work uh, and uh, work, work of the previous 20 years. Um, the show caused a lot of stir amongst uh, people because, because it, was, uh, it was a bit of a shock. Uh, the, uh, Bernard Smith, the art historian, had always pushed the fact that Melbourne was uh, the figurative art centre and that Sydney um, was the centre of abstraction the field show sort of reversed that, you know. Um, my path then was to, um, well, uh, uh, there was, it was quite a bit of work. I, I worked in Gippsland for a while with um, uh, Mike Brown. Uh, we we uh, did a lot of collaborative work together on installations, etc. But I felt that I should come back to Perth for a while. I'd, I'd occasionally visited at Christmas, but, um, uh, you know, place of birth, etc., or um, well, place where I grew up. Uh, when I arrived back, my mother was uh, not well, so I stayed on for a while. Uh, ended up teaching at um, a couple of places here. One of them is uh, Claremont Art School. Uh, and quite by surprise, I was given a, one of those initial uh, Arts Council grants from the um, Australia Council to uh, work and travel uh, in Europe and um, the continent. This was really important to me because, uh, again, lacking that art school background, uh, uh, I hadn't, um, well, even beyond that, uh, there was so much I knew about but only through reproduction. And um, uh, my, my approach to paint, et cetera, was that um, unless you saw the real thing, you, you know, you're wasting your time. Uh, early on, I remember looking at three different um, Van Goghs that I had in reproduction and thinking, why did he do the same painting in three different colors? Uh, not knowing that the printers, you know, couldn't care less what colour it was. <laughs> but, uh, uh, anyway, uh, so off to Britain 
and um, uh, I married there, and uh, my wife and I then set up house in Brighton and, um, and studios. We also had a place in south of France where uh, I became fascinated by the Romanesque works uh, and the natural tensions that the, the limitations that the, uh, the Romanesque artists had, partly because of uh, the structure of the Romanesque church, uh, very small spaces if you want to fit in a, a narrative painting. Uh, and uh, working on a frieze, etc., uh, with a narrative painting sets up uh, almost a cartoon-esque uh, situation where you have to have uh, joining and separation at the same time. But, uh, anyway. This was all fascinating to me and uh, fascinating to be applied within the structure of uh, formalist abstract painting. Uh, it, um, to use those same tensions, to use uh, you know, uh, everything, every, everything that uh, abstraction uh, could supply, uh, plus bring our history with us. Um, right, uh, in the mid-90s, uh, I returned to uh, Australia to to, uh, to Perth to um, s set up a place to live for the two of us. Uh, Ruth's parents were um, aged, and so she was backwards and forwards. Uh, but we finally got settled by about ninety six, ninety seven in Perth, and um, uh, have struggled on then through a number of studios, etc. Always short term. Uh, until we finally built the studios at the back of the house. Uh, and uh, how's my 15 minutes? I, uh, I think I'm going to run a bit short. But uh, uh, that really uh, is our story. I, I exhibit, uh, during that period in Britain, etc., I exhibited every uh, three years, four years in, in Melbourne. Uh, there was no interest for what the particular area I worked in. There was no interest in Perth at the time, uh, or no uh, outlet. Um, there may have been interest, but maybe they went to Melbourne to see it. Uh, I, I now ex exhibit continually in Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra, uh, and Perth. At, uh, um, and uh, that's really where we are now. So.